The UK's new leader faced her political opponents today for the first time in that top job. Liz Truss was front and centre for the weekly Prime Minister's questions in the House of Commons. She also held her first cabinet meeting after appointing a government diverse in race and gender. She cleared out many ministers from her predecessor, Boris Johnson's administration. Ms. Truss has promised to immediately tackle three main issues, boosting the economy, helping with rising energy costs and sorting out the overburdened health service. But she's already clashing with the opposition Labour Party in Parliament. They've accused her of making working people foot the bill for the energy crisis. For more, Ollie Barrett joins us live now from London. Ollie, Liz Truss focused heavily on the energy crisis. Has she managed to convince MPs about her plans? Not yet, and part of the reason for that, Dawn, is that she hasn't given us the full detail about her plans yet, but she says that that will be coming soon. She confirmed, actually, in that first Prime Minister's Questions session that the plan would be revealed to the House of Commons on Thursday. So that's when we'll get the full detail. That is when she will be able to properly make the case for whatever it is her plan ends up looking like. She was pushed on the, uh, the numbers of it and how it's all going to be paid for by the opposition Labour leader Keir Starmer during PMQs. He's insisting that the energy plan, which we think is going to be a price freeze effectively for households and individuals at around where energy prices are in the UK at the moment, he says that should be paid for by a windfall tax, further windfall taxes on energy companies who are currently making large profits. Liz Truss said that she didn't think that that would be the way to go and the two clashed over that and who was right or wrong on uh, that particular issue. But Liz Truss not giving us any further information about how exactly the plan is going to be paid for or indeed what's in it. That will come, she says, on Thursday. Well, meantime, Ollie, we have clarity now on uh, Ms. Truss's cabinet pick. She's, she's expelled almost every Rishi Sunak supporter from her cabinet. How much of an uphill battle is she going to face leading the Conservative Party here amid a host of challenges that are facing Britain? A host of challenges and potentially, yes, she is storing up problems for further down the line within her own party. Now, for now, uh, and, and the sound in the House of Commons behind her and the atmosphere and the body language from her backbench MPs suggests that she does have the support of uh, the party, that they are rallying behind her, even those who didn't support her during the Conservative Party leadership contest. But the fact that she has so few uh, parliamentarians who have any uh, positivity about Rishi Sunak and his leadership campaign campaign in her cabinet does lead people, analysts, to believe that further down the line they could start causing problems for her if they feel that, for example, she's not being received well by the British public, if they feel that she is continuing down a path that they don't approve of when it comes to the economy, for example, and cutting taxes, which is something that Rishi Sunak said should not happen yet and could be even more inflationary than uh, the UK economy is already having to deal with. Those are the kinds of things that we can potentially expect uh, those in the Rishi Sunak camp to start getting a little bit more loud about and critical about in the future, particularly, as I say, if Liz Truss doesn't receive a bounce in the polls. That's going to be critical here. If she is well received by the public, if her energy plan is well received by the public, then you can expect that that will shore up party unity for a little bit longer. But if things don't go smoothly for Liz Truss in the early days of her premiership, particularly with regard to some of those crises you mentioned, uh, then I think we can expect to see some of those divisions in the Conservative Party become pretty visible pretty quickly. Ollie, thank you for that. Ollie Barrett there reporting from London.